Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add additional remote for your Toyota Prius 2013. I purchased this on Amazon, I'm going to place the link down below and I want to just have secondary uh, remote uh, to start and open the doors for my vehicle. Uh, I'm using the cable uh, mini VCI J2534 and it comes with the software text stream. Uh, which I was able only install on Windows 7. I think there is instruction too on Windows 7 installation and Windows 8 and 10 unfortunately doesn't work so make sure you have Windows 7 computer available. Uh, so this remotes, both of them already I connected first so I'm going to erase first and this remote and I'm going to add it again so I'm going to show you how to do erase in case you have additional remotes previously added. So. Here we go, this remote working, and this remote working, okay? So both of them working. And we're gonna open the first connect our cable to our port. Make sure it's all the way in. You start the ignition by pressing twice on your power. And open the program. and then select connect to vehicle option that's on the very top. Okay, now you have the screen, it's got my uh, VIN number correctly and all information about the Prius and it still need to select the option which is gonna select the first option here just to give me a next option. All right, so we're getting now you are in the system of your vehicle and you have a bunch of options here. So what we're going to do is just select smart key option. That's what we're working on. Double click on that. In the smart key, we're going to go to utility and click on that. Now under utility, you have seven options here. And we first we're going to erase smart code erasure here on the right. So we're going to use smart code erase option. If you just add in the key, you don't need to erase. You're just using the smart code registration, either classic on the left or smart code regular registration on the right. They're both the same. Um, on the right, just have more instructions. If you're not familiar, on the left, it's faster uh, if you know already the options. Okay, so first we erase in. I'm going to click on that, double click. Now in order to erase, I'm going to have the engine on. So it gives you all the instruction how to do it. And we're just going to have leave the key we want to leave. So the one with the blue tape I'm going to use as original key and we're going to erase this key. So I'm holding the one that we're going to keep. All the rest of the key going to be erased after that. So if you have more than one keys, it will erase all of them but this key, okay? Just make sure don't confuse, you're not erasing the key, you're just keeping the key. So now it's telling me that touch the power button with the back gives you 30 seconds, so make sure you do that within that range or it's gonna cancel. Now it's erasing all of the codes, so just this code gonna work. And we're gonna test it right here in a second. So I'm gonna turn the power off just to show you, you don't need to do it, but and now is just my key with the blue working and rest of the key erase. So this one not gonna do anything. And also it's not gonna start the car because it's completely erased. So now we're gonna add this remote as you would start from the scratch. Let's say you just got this new remote and you add in. So you have the register remote that's working and you add in the new remote that it's not working. So working the remote with the blue tape here. So we don't get confused because they're completely identical. And we're going to use the classic option here, just faster. Uh, if you choose to use smart code regular, it will give you more instructions. So double click on that. And it's just telling you the instruction here. Make sure your uh, engine power is on. So I forgot actually to turn it on. So two clicks, my engine is on. Gonna wait a few seconds, make sure it's fully connected back to the system. 
hope it is and we're gonna click next okay so it just gives you three options here since we do have registered key already we just add in the new key I'm gonna just say I am just registering the keys okay I'm not doing anything else here click next and now it's telling me that I have six available spaces and only one key registered so like I said before we had two keys registered so we erased that key and we're gonna add it back again I'm gonna click next and it give me 29 seconds to add first to place the registered already key against my power button here so after that you have 30 more seconds to place the new remote against the power button to register and you're gonna have two beeps and now it's telling you okay if you have if you'd like to add more key we don't need to add anymore I only have one I'm gonna click register so now it's telling me two remotes connected and five available which is gonna exit out of here we are registered with the two and I'm gonna show you to make sure you see both of the remotes working now so that's the original and that's the new we just added both of them gonna open the door okay and now both of them gonna start the car so I'm gonna do the new one just to show you I'm gonna place this on top of the roof and we're just gonna use this new registered key there you go starts and off so now you have the new key that's going to start your engine and it's going to open your doors thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel for more videos and leave comments